So you've done your homework, you check the weather forecast, and you go out on the water, and then all of a sudden, <gasps> the weather changes, as it always does, right? How do you cope with this? How do you know that it's still safe to be out on the water? Especially if you're a beginner, it, it can be quite hard to estimate the wind speed and that's what we're going to talk about in this video in the last video i went over the ideal wind speed for sailing for learning to sail if you're interested in that i really recommend going back one video watching that one first um, but if you already know what wind speeds you want to aim for this video is great for uh, making sure you can read the waves and tell that you are actually in the right wind speed so it's all about staying safe and about learning how to recognize like the wind increasing and it's time for you to get the hell out of there this channel is all about helping you making your sailing dreams actionable and we do all kinds of like these actionable videos so go check out the rest of the channel that's filled with practical advice but first let's get into the weeds here so I'm gonna show you pictures video of waves and then I'm going to point out the signs uh, for the different wind speeds and it, we're going to refer to them from the Beaufort skill so we start at Beaufort 0 which is no wind and we work our way up to wind force 12 Beaufort which is strong like heavy storms and after watching this video you'll just You'll be able to look at the waves and have a general idea of the wind speeds so let's dive in so the first picture i have here is wind force zero and you'll see in the picture it's like the sea is like a mirror there's absolutely nothing going on and there's no waves there's no crests there's no white foam nothing it's just mirror no a wind force whatsoever and if you're in these conditions you'll probably have to uh, uh, power up the the outboard and <laughs> power around a bit because there's no sailing to do here so moving on to wind force one you'll see some ripples but no foam so this is one two three knots um, and you'll see there's a bit of scales going on no crests no foam crests and it's it's not even waves right then moving on to wind force 2 which is between four to six knots and this is where this is a good wind speed for beginners you'll see like small waves but no foam they're not breaking let's say they're not rolling over themselves and the crests have uh, some sort of like glassy vibe a glassy appearance wind force three we get large waves and the crests begin to break we get white caps uh, white caps sorry uh, this is the equivalent to like six to ten knots which is this is for a good day sailing this is for for like comfortable sailing if, if the waves are not getting too choppy so you'll see there's some foam it has a glassy appearance like with wind force 2 and you'll see some white caps like uh, some tops spread it around wind force 4 becomes begins it begins getting a bit more adventurous so this is a moderate breeze and the waves become become longer and more pronounced and you'll see more and more white caps or white horses as they call it so these um, this wind force it's the equivalent of 11 to 16 knots and this is you can go out and have uh, some great fun in this in this wind speed wind force 5 so when we look at the picture we'll see fairly long waves and many many white horses this is the equivalent of 17 to 21 knots and um, if you have a mid-sized boat or a bigger boat this this is a great wind speed to go around you'll you'll see more pronounced long waves they're they're, they're moder moderately high and there'll, there'll be some spray as well so the the waves are really breaking now and there's some 
uh, spray going on. Wind force 6, the waves are becoming more and more pronounced and, and, and a lot longer now. They're very getting very large, many white crests, spraying going on as well. And um, yeah, you see white foam crests everywhere. This is the equivalent of 22 to 27 knots. And this is where uh, most sailors become uh, a bit uncomfortable. It, it gets a bit exciting. A lot of sailboats start to heal uh, quite a bit at 23, 23 knots. So um, there are a lot of fair weather sailors like me that are getting increasingly anxious now. Wind force 7, these are high winds, so not gills yet, but high winds. And you'll see visible spin drift, which is like spray that that is propelled from the crest of the wave. So when the waves break, you see a lot of white foam, a lot of breaking waves. This is where the, the wave height is getting really, really impressive. So the, the, at sea, the wave height will be between four or five meters now, so 13 to 90 feet high. It heaps up, so it, the rolling starts to become very, uh, you, you'll, you'll start to notice it very well. There's a lot of white foam from the, the breaking waves. And you'll see that the foam is getting picked up by the wind and, and gets it, it, it creates these long white streaks on top of the water. Uh, this is the equivalent, by the way, of 28 to 33 knots. So pretty hefty right there. So we're getting into the storm forces now. And the, from wind force 8 and up, I suggest not going out at all, unless you really, really have to, to, get, uh, to get to safety quickly. Um, wind force 8, you'll see pretty high waves between five and seven and a half meters, like 18 and 25 feet. And wind force eight, yeah, that's that's uh, a gale. So we're starting to get out of control now. Wind force nine, very high waves, dense streaks of foam along the direction of the wind. The sea begins to roll now, as, and you'll feel that very distinctively. And the waves will be between 23 and 30 feet high, which is seven to 10 meters. And the spray will probably start to affect your visibility. So there's a lot of spray in the air now. Wind force 10, very large waves, overhanging crests, and the whole sea becomes more and more white in appearance. So a bit of a glassy uh, feel. You'll see that the waves are having very long, uh, starting to, to get very long overhanging crests. There's a lot of foam going around. Yeah, so this is a storm now, storm force. We're at storm force. Wind force 11, very high waves. Um, you will probably start to lose, like small ships will disappear for, for a while behind waves now. The uh, sea is completely covered with long white patches. That's just foam lying along the wind direction. Very high waves, 10 to 16 meters, like 40 to 50 feet on average. And wind force 12, hurricane, everything's white. Well, it doesn't even say here how high the waves are now, <laughs> but the entire sea is covered in a white layer. There's foam and spray everywhere and you will have pretty bad visibility. Uh, yeah, don't go out in a hurricane. So there you have it. Those are the 12 Beaufort forces and how to recognize them by checking out the waves. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel and like this video. It really helps us out with beating YouTube's algorithm. And that's my mission here. Now my mission is to help you uh, get along, get on with your sailing dream, but also to beat YouTube's algorithm. So please help me out here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and as always, smooth sailing.